15 qualifying tenders this year. Buffalo with their first offensive opportunity. Rebound comes away, and Smith gives off to a teammate. Dan Smith is able to find Staley, I believe that is, right down in front. We'll wait and see who it is. Yeah, we'll just take a look at that. The fire from Small deflects off of Poulin, the Kareenan shot physicality, and prevent the Swarm from getting closer to the cage. They want to prevent the back cut, and the guys running around, and they can't prevent Miles Thompson right there. I'll tell you, part of the key on this play, Brandon Joseph, and you're the color man, so I'll let you diagnose it, but Lyle Thompson comes up with another loose ball on this possession. That has been such a big key for the Swarm this year. Yeah, a lot of loose balls early in this contest from the Georgia Swarm and Lyle keeps his eyes up, get it behind the net to Randy Stotts. And you have to be worried about Randy Stotts behind the net. Randy can make a move and get to the cage for the Swarm this year. Yeah, a lot of loose balls early in this contest from the Georgia Swarm and Lyle keeps his eyes up, get it behind the net to Randy Stotts. And you have Josh Byrne to Dane Smith. Got a man cutting in and they squeak it through on Poulin. What a beauty for the Swarm this year. Yeah, a lot of loose balls early in this contest from the Georgia Swarm and Lyle keeps his eyes up, get it behind the net to Randy Stotts. And you have to be worried about Randy Stotts behind the net. Randy can make a move and get to the cage. Cloutier has just tallied his sixth goal of the season. Yeah, nice little give and go. And take a look at Buffalo, that little high screen, they find the cut. And it's just but then all of a sudden they find some action and some magic late in the year. Well, it's tough to have to replace 35 goals, and that's what you have to replace with Hogarth and O'Connor. Oh, 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 oh. Nick Wees. Nick Wees. The Setting their defense because they feel that when they are able to set their defense accurately. Oh, squeaks through. Absolutely squeaks through. Burn that shot just across. Fires it on pool and just goes five hole. <laughs> For Josh Byrne, that's going to be goal number five of the campaign. Push him up to 10 points on the year. Giving off to Cloutier. And this one finds a back of the net as well. Dane Smith. Smith found a home in the back of the net. You take a look. Swarm try to close out there, and that leaves Dane Smith unmarked. Smith, he loves that kind of shot. Doesn't really miss too often there. Not much that Mike Poulin can do. Yes, but defensively only allowing one. They have to feel really good about where they're at. But as we've seen before with this Georgia Swarm team, they can get goals in spurts, and there's one right there. Thompson. For his seventh, make it eighth goal of the affair of the season, I beg your pardon. Yeah, just a great give and a pressure ended up slashing. So we'll be at 4-4 for the next minute and five seconds. And then Buffalo will have the one-man advantage. So much for that. Fourth overall. Holds one or two records for Buffalo. Oh, my. Look at that left-handed ripper, Josh Byrne. Eight to two, Buffalo. Don't. Back in the net. And pass right back to the middle. And Georgia Swarm just late filling passing lanes. Not problem for this one today. Two illegal substitution penalties and then just a lot of late getting off the bench to sub out offense from defense and you pay for it mm. right here. Chris Cloutier number has come through once again. You know Philadelphia let him go last year. They made the trade and some people really barked about it. Not really on both sides by the way but Phil that number where you feel going in half we can make up five goals and a half. We can get on a good run, seal it off, and... And there's one. A great move and an even better decision for Shane Jackson. Wait until you see the replay here. You're the right way. Yeah, great job of making Matt Vins guess what Shane Jackson was going to do. Came around that screen. Great yep. job of setting that screen was Jordan Hall. And then for the loose ball. Here come the bandits pushing. Snu might take it himself. Give off to a teammate, point blank range, and it gets past Poulin. Ian McKay. Goal of this season. The Waterloo, Ontario man makes it a 10 to 3 ball game. Yeah. Odd man rush, Chad Tutton. Sorry, that's Jason Noble there. Takes out one guy. But Kelsey Winkert, I hear, is at the ball games tonight. Oh, my. Oh my, a bounce shot that gets through Poulin and the Bandits. Kevin Brownell have now pushed their lead to eight. 
think, up against the boards and forced the ball to come out. Shane loves that little wing spot. Stotts! Randy Stotts, the 2016 National Lacrosse League Rookie of the Year, the number six overall pick back in 2015, has brought us back to a 12-5 ball game. Yeah, who cannot connect, and Bomberry picks it up. They'll try to send one ahead. Can it be caught? McIntosh does, scoops, shoots, scores! Thing of beauty. Just dropped right in front of him. Take a look at this from Bomberry. Get it out. McIntosh had no clue where the ball was coming. Sees it bounce in front of him. Traps it right in front of Gil Ray and then makes his move. A perfect symphony for the swarm. And look at that Euro around Gil Ray. A little bit of an ankle action there. And by the time Matt Vince was able to pick up the ball, they're not getting a free lunch to come across midfield. Georgia's defending them as soon as they touch the ball. Point blank, go oh baby! Highlight real type score, Chris Cloutier ends the run and makes it 13 to six. Of lucky and good for Cloutier. <laughs> Take a look at that step, and it looks like the legs get tripped up and he was able to get that ball out. I think the Swarm are gonna look at this and tell me to in make the sure crease. that he did not land in the crease before that ball crossed. Oh, this yeah, is that, close. that wrist is down. I think the Swarm will end up throwing the flag to challenge it. Very, very close. And who did we find out is on the flag tonight I with think uh, Coach Sean Pomo? Ferris has the challenge flag. Again, if you're just tuning in, maybe joining the broadcast late. They're going to call this it, for a faceoff. Swarm do not challenge. Oh. Of their squad. Yeah, I think if you're John Tavares. Oh, my! Randy Stotts very quickly now. 24 seconds into the fourth frame. Just like that, it's 14 to eight. Things change drastically. Uh, how you close it out, and that's not the way he wants to start the fourth quarter. Randy Stotts with a little step back, spin back, fire into the back of the net, right past the ear hole of Matt Vins. Randy Stotts, he's really come on strong. We talked about it in the third quarter. Not really getting the goals to that point, but he's getting the assist. He's facilitating, still up there in points. He's now taking over the game. Got a hat trick in a shoot through four goals. He got his three in the last four. He's not so pick up the loose ball. 135 on the power play. Second best team in the league statistically in the power play entering the weekend. And they've got one. The Swarm are back to within 14 to 10 with 932 remaining in the ball game. One minute mark coming up on the penalty. Talked about it earlier. Buffalo scores another one. Boy, oh boy, they have complete their power play numbers and flip them on the ear. Yeah, and the Swarm allowed that pass right across. Nobody had to fix up, try to alter the pass. Sparrow makes the hit on Couché. Make an honest crossing in front of Poulin. That takes him out of position. 